Hello, welcome to another edition of Trial by Magus with a threat assessment slash review on the Bell Aircraft XP-77. Uh, this is an interesting fighter. They're pretty rare now because they were given out to closed beta testers before the game's release if they managed to get uh, above a certain threshold of battles in testing. So she's never been sailed. She most likely will never be sold. So can't really review this with the look of uh, giving you a thumbs up or thumbs down on whether you should buy it. But this is more a be aware and beware message because this thing used to be one of the most awful things to fly in the game prior to 2.0. But with the release of the new conquest mode and the change to the way that uh, mechanics and flight work, this aircraft has gotten a new lease on life. The aircraft used to be so bad that I called her the Arafail, a play on the uh, how Bell Aircraft named all of their aircraft, Era Bonita, Era Cobra, Arafail. This thing was meant to be a turn fighter, but she would constantly bleed energy while turning, so you would have to use the boost in order to keep her speed up and keep her above stall speed, and eventually, in a protracted dogfight, she would just stall and fall out of the air or hang and wait for someone to come by and slap her. The, the, the aircraft was completely useless. Some people made it work, but they could have done even better in literally any other aircraft at Tier 5. Now, in 2.0, the XP-77 has become a complete little demon. The thing's a monster. I will never call her the Era Fail again. This thing has now earned the nickname Yankovlev, because that's what it is. This is an American fighter that flies like one of the highly maneuverable Yaks, like the Yak-1 or Yak-3. It's just a very nasty little customer. She's not very fast. She can keep pace with other fighters that are meant to fly at low altitude and turn, but where she really shines now is her ability to turn tightly. She has the roll rate of a German FW-190 type aircraft. And on top of that, she is just outright tiny. I mean, even in a turn fight, take a look at the size of those wings. They are not going to catch much. And her profile from behind and in front is just ridiculously small. This thing is so hard to hit unless you throw a lot of lead at it or the pilot flying her just gives you an exceptionally good shot. Let's take a look at the equipment that she's armed with here. In our engine, she's got a V770 Allison engine uh, that's non-supercharged, so she's meant to be flown at low altitudes and be cheaply made. That's really why this thing uh, was actually a thing. Uh, it wasn't accepted for production or use, but it did go through prototype uh, testing, much like the British Miles M20 and several of the late war German designs. This was an emergency fighter that was meant to be built from non-strategic materials and was supposed to be easy enough to fly that a, a recruit with a bare minimum of training would be able to get this thing into the air and not immediately crash it. So the XP-77 was built mostly from wood it had a metal covering, but the uh, frame and wings mostly wood. Uh, the engine, the Allison engine, was something we had an enormous stockpile of, so those wouldn't have been hard to come across. And for armament, she did not carry many guns, very, very, very similar to the Yaks here. She has a 20mm Hispano in the nose with an effective fire range of 660 and that will get hits all the way out to over 800 meters. And then to either side of that, here and here, she's got a pair of 50 cals that have an effective fire range of 500 and a damage rating of 38. For optional equipment, uh, I've popped engine tuning on her just because uh, most of the pilots that I throw into her are not specifically for this aircraft. They're from other American fighters, and so they have engine guru. And that engine tuning doubles up with uh, their uh, abilities quite nicely. 
Improved covering because you don't ever want to lose your maneuverability in this thing. Maneuverability is life in the XP-77. And lightweight airframe just to increase your maneuverability factor a little bit more. Now on the crew skills, this is a one point pilot here. For crew skills on this thing, uh, you don't really need the accuracy abilities because all of her guns are right there in the nose. Uh, engine Guru, eh, okay, but not optimal. Uh, what you definitely would like to do if you're going to build a pilot specifically for an aircraft like this is uh, Aerobatics Expert to increase maneuverability in all axes. And if you've doubled up on lightweight airframe and control surface adjustment, the uh, Aerodynamics Expert would be a, another good ability to take. Uh, Bigger abilities from the Special Pilot skills, I would recommend one of them, Evasive Target. Because you're going to be always in a turning fight with this aircraft, and aircraft that are like it. So, while you're in a turning dogfight, if someone else decides to shoot at you, you're going to be taking less damage because your ability is going to be active. The other thing that might be useful on an aircraft like this that's meant to live in a dogfight and nowhere else is Adrenaline Rush which uh, reduces your weapon overheating and increases your firing accuracy for 10 seconds immediately after you destroy an enemy aircraft. So that's a good ability to have, especially if you're going to be living in the furball. Uh, I have a battle for you now here in the Yankovlev. Uh, it is with uh, Gaming Bear of the uh, EU server uh, from when he came over here to NA and we flighted up for a couple of matches. Uh, keep in mind that uh, when you have a wingman in a turn fight, that's a huge advantage because you're constantly setting up anyone else who's trying to target you as a uh, target for your wingman. That's what the uh, communication across uh, voice channels is great for. And really, if you're flighting up and not using voice chat, you're only getting half of the experience. So come check her out, see why it's dangerous, and then keep an eye out for these things in the skies of World of Warplanes. Good hunting. Yeah, uh, okay. We'll see what she does. Well, should we head into the middle and uh, see what we can do? Just mix it up. Yeah, definitely. We want to catch that rocket base right away. You are approaching the area of combat operations. Be ready. Get ready for action. Let's go. Yeah, I'll fly straight and level here if you want to get a look at this goofy thing. I'm looking. Ooh, ooh. Ah. That does, it looks nice. The other thing she's got going for is that she's tiny. Very small. Yeah. Thinking that teeny tiny, it is a, a small target, very useful. How 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 tough is it? Um, she's got the durability of a zero. Oh, that good. <laughs> well, we've wandered into this with AA guns firing at us. Oh, low fighter. They've just taken my engine out. I'm trying to keep it uh, running. Oh, and fire. No, that no, was air defense as well. Ouch. Those bow fighters are good. Are so good. Yeah, even even as a defense bot, they're pretty dangerous. All right. Well, I'll be back in with you in a moment. Okay, I'm abandoning the middle. There's nothing left for me to shoot up there in the air. Okay, I can see you heading for the other airfield, so I will uh, head that way. It looks like we're about to get it anyway. 
I can see a couple of a uh, couple of those their fighters coming in. Do you need help with those, or are you going to be okay? Come on in. Let's get together. I'm on my way. I can see a couple of a uh, couple coming in on you. Close air, close support. Well, these are enemy players here. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm watching. FWs coming in on, on our guys. Okay, it's getting on the next ones. Cool, nicely done. Head south. They're about yep, to take middle. that rocket base. After all that work we put in. I know. <laughs> but it, it's a good melting pot. It'll let us uh, kill them. They come in to defend it, we'll just go in and cane them. Okay, gotta take out these attackers down here. There's a Stuka and a Henschel. Stuka dies first. We've got Japanese, I'm gonna try and deal with him first before uh, he becomes a problem for anyone else. Uh, you need someone to watch your tail up there? Uh, no, it's, a, it's only a zero. I can deal with a zero. <laughs> Stuka down. Yep, cool, we've done them. P40 is always a pain, so I'm going in for him. 110's down. We captured the rocket bay. Oh, there's a zero down here. my tail I'm uh, I'm pretty much done okay well I'm, I'm hunting down a p40 at the moment cool he's gone okay I've respawned from the north. I'm going for a spit He's down. Okay, next. Luckily, I was able to loop enough and someone else took him out. Okay, A3 coming in. I'm going to go for him. A6 in. That's alright, I've just taken that, that zero down. Alright, there's a... I'm gonna take out this okay. A6M5 over here. Okay, I've just got the Stuka, he's gone. Uh, yeah, A6, I'm, I'm coming your way as well. Take that, Neat. Tojo. Exactly, teamwork. <laughs> it's nice have, having another good player on the team. about flighting up. I, I really miss us being able to have three men in the flight. Uh, I don't think we're going to be able to climb up there. Oh! No. Well, he's coming down to oh, us. Yeah. Hey, hey, Jess, that's fine. We'll deal with it. I'm good for this. Got him! First. Nice! Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Incoming. will be unable to reach you. Do you read me? Over. Okay, I'm trying to get up higher. Give you a hand. I'm chasing him down to you. All yours. Okay, between us, oh, we called him. We called him right done. in the middle. <laughs> nice a little, work. A little uh, sauerkraut sandwich there. Yeah, exactly. It's very good. To, it's nice. That's one of the things have, having some that both the top and the bottom covered. Right, fighter here. 
Oh, it's another FW. I'm peeling off on the Stuka. We cannot support you anymore. Okay, I'm on my way as well. All the kills are gonna stick now. Be careful. Go repair if you have to. Okay, he's gone. Okay, that Zero's back. He's gotta die. That guy knows what he's doing. Got him! Good. You got a tail coming up behind you, watch it. Okay, spinning. FW down. A6 coming in. He's down. Next. Nice battle. This is so much fun. I can't believe how much of a little monster this thing has become. <laughs> Alright, FW wants some more. Got it. Nice. Nice job. So, north. That's gonna be really good. By the time we get there. Great flying bear. Ah, great Jolly team, good nice. cooperation. Very good wingman, you are, you know? <laughs> oh, target to our right, FW190 is coming in on me. Oh, I was just taking him down! Oh, oh look at that. So I... many medals. I look like a Russian hero of the Great Patriotic War. <laughs> oh, perfect. I saw you were over 10,000. Really nice. It's over 9,000! Crush! Oh, that is epic. Really well done, mate. Oh, that was, that was great fun, Bear. That...